New in Profile Builder 4 is the ability to join profile members and assemblies. A typical use is to close gaps between two objects on intersecting paths. For a simple example, I'll select these two profile members and click the Join icon on the Profile Builder toolbar. This closes the gap and results in a single profile member along a new path. Similarly, I can select two assemblies and join them the same way. In both examples, the selected objects were based on identical profiles or assemblies with the same elevations. Note that only profile members, or only assemblies, can be pre-selected. Joining a profile with an assembly produces an error. While it's possible to join objects with different attributes, such as these fence assemblies, the resulting object will have a single set of attributes. For predictable results, we recommend ensuring that all preselected objects have the same attributes. For different assemblies, use the Get Assembly Attributes tool on the one you want to use. Then use Apply Assembly Attributes on the other selected assemblies and join all segments. For different profiles, use Get Attributes for the profile to use. For the other selected profiles, use Edit Attributes and Apply All, then Join. As we've seen, objects are joined where their paths intersect. This may mean extending segments to meet the intersection point, shortening segments, or both extending and shortening segments. In the case of parallel objects, a new segment is added to complete the join. If a single object is selected whose path is made of multiple segments, clicking Join will close the loop. The same thing happens when multiple objects are selected. After the first join, a single object is produced along an open path. The second join closes the path. If it's not clear how object paths are supposed to intersect, such as this example of fences at different elevations, Profile Builder will calculate an intersection point. If the result isn't what you're looking for, undo and add one or more segments that will influence the desired intersection points. Keep in mind that path endpoint proximity determines which ends get joined. In this example, the join segment is added to the left because the segment on the other side would be longer. If I move the single segment fence closer to the right side, the join segment is added to that side. If I want to keep the original configuration, but join the segments on the right side, I can adjust paths. I'll double click the three segment fence to edit it, click Edit Path, and add a new segment that's closer to the single segment fence than the other endpoint is. After the path editing, the segments are joined on the correct side. Finally, let's look at a truss example, where the path is a set of single intersecting segments. With all path segments selected, I'll use this profile, set junctions to None, and click Build Along Path. This produces a set of 21 individual truss members. To reflect how this truss would actually be built, I'll select and join the six members of the lower cord and repeat for the top cords.